Dr. Jaffe, some claim that ascorbic acid is the most effective form of vitamin C because it has an extra electron to donate to the body that buffered C does not. Is there any truth to this? Uh, an important question, and I'd like to clarify <clears throat> that vitamin C, ascorbic acid, is usually synthetic, and we don't recommend that. Nature's ascorbate is buffered always with a protective mineral. So when we say buffered ascorbate, we mean in addition to the antioxidant power of ascorbate, the mother antioxidant that protects and recycles all else because it can donate an electron, by definition, ascorbate means that you have the extra electron and it hasn't been partially oxidized to diketobulonic acid, sorry, to dehydroascorbate first and then doubly damaged or oxidized to diketobulonic acid. And I know these are big words, but let me clarify that you want fully buffered, fully reduced ascorbates, and we recommend enhancing the calcium, magnesium, potassium, and zinc so that whether you need one gram, 10 grams, or 100 grams of ascorbate in the fully reduced electron donor form, because of the total oxidative burden, and the 21st century is very different than the 20th, we have more of the bad stuff, which means in our experience, we need more of the good stuff to counteract the oxidative bad stuff. So thanks for asking the question. The answer is that we pioneered the first effervescent, fully buffered, fully reduced, multi-mineral ascorbates three decades ago. And while there has been much to confirm the value of what we offer, there is obvious confusion and someone has miscommunicated to the doctor who is now asking an important question. When you buffer ascorbate, don't you lose that important electron? Well, no. And here's another technical point. We have it triple recrystallized under a nitrogen blanket because most vitamin C is produced quickly, inexpensively in the air, and oxygen is oxidative. Ascorbate is an antioxidant. So oxygen and ascorbate uh, really don't get along very well. And part of the reason that we made it effervescent is because water contains some oxygen. And so if you allow the ascorbate to get wet, and by the way, synthetic ascorbate is made in a wet situation and then dried, but it's done in the air where the oxygen damages the important delicate molecule. So thanks for asking. Assure anyone that you communicate with that PERC, fully buffered, fully reduced, potent Seaguard is the most potent ascorbate antioxidant that we know of because it's protected until you get it by design.